Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome to my Football Manager 2018 Boyhood Returns with my local club from back home, Barn United. So this is a brand new series on the channel, as you were aware in the previous little uh, preview of about the history and that of where it came from. So, here we are, we're at the first game of the season against Colin Valley. Now as you can see, this is how pre-season went. So we had a game against our local, against our reserves, beat them 2-0. Then we drew one each with Coke United. Uh, we were 1 0 up and then conceded later on. We drew two each with Woodville. Now, Woodville were in front twice and we came back twice to equalise, which was pretty good. But then we went out and beat Interstars 1 0, St. Pat's 2 0, and Green Island 5 0. Which brings us to today's match against Colin Valley. Now, as you know, the score was quite small beforehand. Well, we have made a lot of transfers. As a Samager League, we don't have to pay for anyone, so everyone's a free transfer. Amateur League, we can snap, snap, try and snap anyone we want up. Obviously, as you can see, we lost Mark Hall to Broomhill. Not too bad, he's 40 years old, he's gone. So we brought in a 36-year-old goalkeeper in Greg Shannon. We brought him in on trial first, and he was outstanding for the two games he was on trial, so we just brought him in the, as a mainly to try and coach the other goalkeeper. We brought in a defensive mid a defender slash midfielder left in David Anderson. Not the greatest player, but he'll do the job in this division. Uh, midfield right center, Omi Gone. Then we brought in a really good left back in Gavin Kahn. Now his stats look awful, but he's played really well. We brought him in again uh him and Jack Martin and Greg Shannon all came in on trial first. Uh, all played fantastic so we kept them in. Jack Martin, defensive midfield slash midfield center. Neil Anderson was only 16 years old. All the teams in the, like, Carrick Rangers, Glen Torren, Glen Avon, and Cliftonville bid it for him. I just offered him a contract, and he came to us. I was the first person to offer him a contract. He was on a free, and he's 16 years old, and he is our number one goalkeeper, funny enough. He is our best choice for goalkeeping. Even with Greg Shannon, Neil Anderson is a better goalkeeper. He's got better star rating, and he is actually better. We also brought in Lee Lindsay, another left back. As you can see, quite a lot of left back and left midfields. Pierce McCauley, a striker. He's 32 years old, but his finishing's up there, and his heading's pretty good, and he's quick. Then we brought in Ben Murdoch, which is a good centre back choice. Very good at marking, so and decision making. We brought in young Matthew Boyd, who can play defensive midfield or centre back. Again, double option. Craig Gardner is a left back. And Stuart Mulgrew, Mulgrew even, as a centre of midfield. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, quite a lot of transfers just to bolster up the team a little. Um, ideally, I would like a few more to play in the better positions. But I, there is no one le really left, so this is it. We've taken what we can take, and this is what we're going to have to put up with. So let's get on to today's team. Let's have a quick look. Let's click on tactics. This is it. So, today's team, to play Colin Valley in the first league game of the season, we have Anderson and goals. Across the back, we got Gardner, Murdoch, Boyd and Bell. In front of them, we got Lindsay and Martin. In front of them, we got a trio of Anderson, McKeown and Kelly. And up front, we got Sharples up front. On the bench, we got Greg Shannon, Gavin Kahn, Stuart Muldrew, Andy Keane and Ryan Large. So this is pretty much what the, t the formation we're going to play with. We did play with the 5-3-2 wing-back formation in preseason as well. But the last two games we switched to this formation. And as you're seeing, like we won 2-0 and 5-0. So I prefer, I'm going to start the today with this formation. We have players that can play the 5-3-2 formation. So it's not an end of story if this formation doesn't work. And we can switch to the 5-3-2 and still play really, really well. So let's get the game on. Obviously, a lot of these players are all new, so that should be an interesting one. We're up against Colin Valley, so that's going to be a good game, hopefully. And maybe a three-pointer, which would be a lovely way to start this uh, series off. Now, as I say, every single this is going to be a let's play game, so every single game is going to be on the channel. Every single one. Um, I'm going to try to release it probably... Oh, what day of the week? Monday? Tuesday? Wednesdays, I think. Wednesdays or Thursdays every week. I might do it daily as well. I don't know yet. At the minute, I'm looking one day a week each game, but that could take a while. 
So I'll decide if it's turned out to be a bit more popular, I'll do it every single day. So we bang through the season. We're in the orange, all orange and black, with a little black trim, which is the barn colours. Colin Valley are in the blue and the navy, I believe it is. Blue and black, maybe? Blue and black? Okay, so blue and black against the Amber Boys. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see this every single day. Um, if you do, then I'll I'll do a video every day, well every evening, and upload it. And it'll probably then come out at nine o'clock at night to give me a chance to get home, record it, upload it, etc. But the minute I'm trying to do it once a week, but show you every single game, unlike all my other series where I like play like five or six games and then play, show you one game, I'll try to do every single game. I might even try to do two games an episode after this one. That might be better for you guys as well. So just let me know in the comments what way you prefer. If you want to see two games an episode, just put two games in the comments and I will do it. And if you also want it every day, just put two games every day or two games once a week and I'll do it that way around. So here we are. Bell, oh, McKeown couldn't get it. Holland clears it up. Plays a dink and ball in, but that should be Anderson's all day long. Bread and butter for him to collect that. And we're 11 minutes in, and we're going to throw out to Gardner, who pumped it forward, but Sharples is never going to get there. And Harbison will shoot clear up with ease, but he's going to put himself in pressure here. Harbison's under pressure. He's giving it straight to Lindsay. Sharples. Oh, see it, but the keeper Sharples picks it up again. Anderson. Oh, put it over the bar. Not a bad start. Two shots, one on target in the first 12 minutes. And let's change these because I don't like these. I like the the match, not the match stats. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, latest scores up there. There we go. That's better. And the league table down here. Boom. That's better. Or not the not the not the latest scores. Uh, latest event updates. That's it. So it gives us all the bookings, red cars. Injuries, whatever comes up there. Three shots now on target. Two, or sorry, two on target. Three shots. So at the minute, all the teams are drawing nil nil, and we're twenty minutes. Bally Walter of nice score, so of Jamara. And here we come, Bell with the throw in. Martin clears it up, but Kelly picks it up, whips it in. Nicky sharp balls. Oh, great save! And Anderson couldn't get on it. Oh, absolute sitter. Anderson missed it. Defender cleared up. And again, Barn United have come so close to taking the lead. And 18, 19 minutes gone. And we're still drawing 0-0 by the sheer luck of uh, the goalkeeper Ray for Colin Valley. Keeping them in this game big time. And the desperate clear defending by Woods, etc. and co. Campbell now picks it up for Colin Valley. Plays it back to Duncan who plays it over the top for Woods. Woods Oh, dangerous slide tackle. That was dangerous. Oh, Boyd scores an OG. Has to be an OG. It was. It's Matthew Boyd's league debut. Scores a no goal. No danger at all. Campbell. Dunk Doran over the top. Woods picked it up. I don't know what the right back was doing. Sliding in there dangerously. And Boyd just kicks it in past his own goalkeeper. I can't believe it. What an own goal. What a freak on goal. And Colin Valley and now just jumped the second in the league. Not what I was expecting for the opening game of the season. But Matthew Boyd on his league debut scores a cracking OG. I can't believe that. That is just amazing. <laughs> As Rosario beat in the University of Jordan's time. University of Ulster Jordan's time. Oh, wow. That's just taking blow my mind. That has. Great finish, but wrong end of the bench. We've been all over this team. That only had a, they've had one shot, zero on target, and we scored the own goal. As Balnehenge United go 1 0 down the Grove United. And Woods, the man who started this all off, that plays a beautiful ball into Holland. McGee, Holland, Campbell now. Back to Holland. Can we intercept it? Gardner does. But he's giving it away in a dangerous position. And Owens now. Bell wins it back and pumps it forward. Can Sharples get on the end of it? Doring with the thump and challenge. Re Ooh, that's not really a pass back. And he Rave picks it up inside his area. And again, our attack comes to nothing. Oh, I have no instructions set on, by the way. This is just straight f f 
uh, four, two, three, one with no instructions. Might start putting instructions on after this game to be fair with shorter passing and things like that. Exploit the middle because we got the two defensive midfielders. But just for the first game, I wasn't putting instructions on. 32 minutes gone, we're still 1-0 down. Again, they haven't had a shot on target and we've had two and we still haven't scored. Yet they have scored thanks to a fantastic own G. Oh, own goals. Yes, we'll make that change. Ritten's Sharples is awful shot written here. But he's 37 years old. So I'm not surprised. But that's why Andy Kane's on the bench. He's only 32. He can come on and hopefully show a bit of pace. Sharples is Ritten's dropping through the roof. As is Iron Bells. But I got gone on the bench and large and Mulder. So we can make plenty of changes. Well, three. Three changes we can make. And we're 40 minutes gone and we're still losing 1-0. Sharples with the free kick. He had to go. Oh, just wide of the goal. As Danshire have taken the lead against Portaveri. Plenty of goals going in in other games here. We do see it. Don't seem to be able to put a ball in the back of net for some reason. Putting the ball in the back of net in pre-season. Put one in the back of our own net in the first league game of the season. Lovely, isn't it? What a way to start. Who would have predicted that? Well, me. <laughs> and Port of Verif just equalised against Downshire. Ugh. Can't believe it. Typical, isn't it? Just typical. But this is always a fun series. So we'll see how bad we really are. And how bad these players are at times. Amateur League football at its best. So we're 1-0 down. We've dominated the game, but we just haven't seemed to put it in the back of the net. Uh, let's make that change now. Let's get Sharples off. Bring on Young Kane. And see now if we can actually... I'm not sure I said put Kane on for Sharples there. There we go. He won't be a poacher. He wants to be a target man on support. That's fine. Hopefully that means then McKeown and that can get in. Involved in this. If things aren't going our way. I might bring on Khan in the midfield. As the attacking midfielder. We don't actually have an attacking midfielder at the club. So it's something I've got to try and find. But there isn't anyone available. At present. Excuse me lads. I've just come back in from Star Wars. So I'm a little bit tired after sitting in the movie house for the last two hours of my life. Which wasn't a bad movie, but, you know, let's stick back to the football. So, Grove United are 2-0 up. Let's, let's change this mentality a little. We're on control. Let's go attack in. Let's see if we can push for a goal. Gardner to Martin. Anderson. Back to Gardner. Gardner pips it in, but no one there. Cleared by the defence. Murdoch back in towards Kane. And the keeper, Ray, collects very well. Very brave by the goalkeeper, Colin Valley. Trying to keep hold of this 1-0 victory that they've got. And he pumps it forward, but boy, intercepts. Kane flicks it on. Nobody there, though. McGee picks it up for them. Pumps it over the top. Bell with the header out. It falls to McKeown, who pumps it forward. I'm um, really got to put... Some instructions on. And Owens is in. Owens. And great save by Anderson. I think I'm going to have to stop them from just pumping the ball forward. Let's pass and make. Let's put some instructions. Let's put a couple of instructions on here, guys. Because uh, we. Right. Exploit the middle. Uh, short passing. Let's go to flexible rather than structured. There we go. That should be enough to turn a bit changes there. This save now we can do something with that. At 65 minutes, McEwen's coming off and Con's coming on. If we still haven't scored. As Grove United are now 2-1 up over Ballinahenge. And Bally Walter still want, 
are still up there in, in second. Colin Valley are still third thanks to the OG. They haven't even scored themselves. And 55 minutes gone and we are still losing 1-0. We're on attack as well so we should... Like the possession, we have possession the whole heap. Gardner with the throw in. Lindsay plays it in McCone. McCone lays it off for Martin. Oh, played it behind him though. Martin finds Kelly. Can Kelly keep it in? Yes. Can Kelly get the cross in? He's found Martin. Oh, defended as Martin went to thump at a goal. And the attack is over again. Ugh. Considering pre season we did so, so, so well. Boy, he isn't having the best game. We'll give it the 65 and then we might take... Boyd and Bell are having both awful games. 6.0 and 6.2 rating. Lindsay isn't much better in a 6.3. Oh, decisions. I gotta make decisions now. Who do I take off? Who do I keep on? 65 minutes gone. We still haven't scored. Let's make some changes. We have a left back and a right back on the bench. So let's get Ryan Large on for Aaron Bell. Let's take Bell out of the game. Young Ryan Large comes on. And... Do I bring on Gavin Khan and take off McKeown? Leave Boyd out there. Yeah, let's do that. I know he can't play the position, but, you know, why not? Just make the triple change now. And let's see if we can actually get a goal back. Bolly Walter just conceded to Dundonald. Uh, Dundonald have now pulled one back. Let's see if we can get a draw out of this game. I don't want to lose the first game of the season after a good preseason, but the inevitable was bound to happen. We are bubble had to burst at some stage, and it had to be on the first day of the season. But, you know, I'll stay positive. It's still early days. If we get in the top two, it's just, at least it's promotion. And that's where I'm going to aim for by the end of this season. Obviously, the first game, we considered an OG. It probably would have finished 0 nil. But, you know, large plays it down the line to Khan. In the Lindsay, who looks for Kane. Andy Kane! And there's the equaliser! Andy Kane has put, come on and scored the equaliser. It's Barn 1, Colin Valley 1. And that's more like a great football by Large and Con. The two sub the three substitutes pretty much linking up. Because it was Large the Con, the two substitutes. He then plays it into Lindsay, who played a beautiful ball in the gap. And Kane, the just third substitute, buried it into the bottom corner. And that's how you do it. And that's much better. Now can we go and nick the win? Because they haven't, they've had one shot on target so far. We've only had three out of ten, though. It's just not great having ten shots, only three hitting the target. And Danchar now two one up. Let's see if we can do that now. Let's see if we can go on and pick up this winner. That's what I would like. A nice way to end this. The first episode would be with a two one victory. I don't care how it happens as long as we can win it and put us back up in that promotion playoff positions. Calm with a free kick. Gone, oh, over the bar. Whew. It was worth it. Last 10 minutes. 10 minutes of the game. We've got the equaliser. We're now just need to push on for that victory. Stats are going up. We've dominated this game from start to finish. It was just the unlucky OG. <laughs> Always be winning this game one nil, but you know we can't. It's it's football. It's amateur football as well. So I'm not expecting miracles from the, from my team. I'm not expecting to go out and win six and seven nil every week. Can happen, but we haven't got a strong enough team for it. Gardner with a throw in. Anderson doesn't get there. Woods does. He looks for Owens. Owens plays it in McCauley. McCauley getting away from the defenders and placid like a trillion miles wide. He might as well play it out onto the main road. And by the way, Barnier Stadium looks nothing like that, by the way. I will get I will try and get an overview shot of Barnier Stadium for you. 
I let you see it. As Dramara are 2 0 up over St. Luke's. Yeah, I'll tell you the goal so you know how to pronounce the names of the clubs within the division. Because I'm sure some of you are looking at these teams going, what the hell? Like Balna Hench. We pronounce it Balna Hench. Gardner with a free kick. 90 minutes, 3 minutes out of on. Con. Con. Oh, what was that? Gavin Con. What was that? This is what I'm talking about. Amateur football at its best. Absolutely shocking display. I'll settle for the 1 1 draw, though. First game of the season. Not exactly how I wanted it to go, but it's what happens. Young Anderson, 16 years old in goals, pumps a beautiful ball forward. Intercepted. Con plays it through, but the final whistle blows. And it's a 1 1 draw for the first game of the season. And to be fair, we dominated that game. 15 shots on against their four of the whole entire game. I would say, all in all, that was a fantastic result. Uh, a draw will do. Seventh position in the league. We're predicted to finish fifth. We're pretty much almost there, to be fair. Obviously, first game of the season was a draw. We'll come back for the next game of the season, which is against... Dun, 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 dun. St. Luke's and then Ballon and Henge. I might bring a double game. I might do the double games. I might bring the St. Luke's and then Ballon and Henge. Just so we get through the season quicker. Bring you two games every episode. Where is St. St. Luke's are lost 2 0. Ballon and Henge lost 2 0. So, ideally. I'm not right. Ballon and Henge lost 2 0. Lost 3 1. Sorry. Ballon and Henge lost 3 1. St. Luke's lost 2 0. So, with any luck, we might actually get. A victory out of one of those two. And yeah, we got rid of one of our goalkeepers. We had five goalkeepers. We don't need five goalkeepers. We got rid of Chris Campbell now. Free transfer. Just got just released him. We don't need him. Our squad's big enough. We got four keepers left at the club. Probably if Brandy's got a bid in for him, he'll more likely leave. I didn't offer him another contract. He'll probably leave, which will leave us there. And Shannon, Brown and Anderson. Anderson's the one I want to keep anyway. Shannon for Trin and Anderson, ideally. Anderson's the one with the hot prospect, as you can see. Boom, look at that. The people I've brought in are all highly rated, so ideally that's what's going to happen. From now on, I'll bring you two games an episode. I've made my mind up. We'll do two games an episode. Obviously, this one's going to be a short single episode. And after this here, we will bring you two games. So... Thank you very much, guys, for watching this. Thumbs up if you are going to enjoy this series. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And we will continue this series. And hopefully we will get out of this division first time of asking. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. All the best.